catch any putting the final touches on this. Yes, this looks monster interesting. Of a birdhouse. This is a large one. <laughs> yeah. It's it's gonna be just a centerpiece of somebody's home. Mm-hmm. So. We're in the studio of Ralph Holmquist today, who builds birdhouses. Not just any birdhouses, very artistic birdhouses. Ralph has a background as an artist and he's uh, wonderful with graphite and does beautiful portraits. And for a livelihood, he makes artistic birdhouses. And he combines all sorts of amazing ingredients to get the birdhouse. And I'm wondering, where do you collect the parts that you use on your birdhouses? Uh, the recycling center is a real good source. And uh, friends of mine know that I build these things out of discarded items, trying to save the landfill. But they will come up here first. You pass the recycling center coming in here and uh, said, can you use this? Otherwise, we'll just throw it out on our way out of here. I see. So I get a lot of neat things from that way. Now, these are items I pulled out of one of his recycling buckets. So how would you use this hinge? The hinge is for a door that I put on the side of the birdhouse. So you don't need any tools to clean it out. You just swing the door open and you pull this peg out, clean out the birdhouse, and then shut the door again. Okay, what would you do with this? It looks like it used to hold That's an outdoor light fixture uh, or something. I do ornamental things that kind of dresses the front of the birdhouse. And I would take this apart, and mm -hmm. I would use this for like a, this decorative piece here in the front to kind of spruce it up a little bit and and that's the fun part of this when I and the longer the birdhouse stay in the studio the mm -hmm. more it's tacked on that I will probably take take apart and use some flat pieces just for the same purpose and all my birdhouses are functional well it's a very artistic pro process um, like like a painting, I mean, you're building something, you're building a painting, you're building a birdhouse, yeah. you've got layer upon layer, and I guess you evaluate as you go along. You have a general idea what, yeah. what the finished, yeah. what height you want, but then as you go along, you're adding from your various recycled yeah. Yeah. pieces. Uh, very rarely do I have to draw something out prior to making it if somebody orders one mm -hmm. from me. I usually have quite a few on hand. Well, you know, your studio here reminds me of one of your birdhouses because it's just charming. We were yes. walking around the outside, and I think perhaps yes. you've recycled a number of um, items just to build the yes. studio. Is that right? Yes. The, the, the windows doors, here? They were French doors, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very I pretty. I had them in storage for probably about six years. Y you never I, know I, when it's going to come I in know. handy. <laughs> I knew someday I'll have my studio here in yes. the mountains. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Very it is inspiring. a beautiful place. Yeah. Now, when I drive beside the road... Right, this is where that came from. <laughs> yes, every once in a while I see a broken chair yes. or something somebody yep. has thrown out. This this is another decorative piece like to be added on. and I use the chair legs and, mm -hmm. and, and things like that just, mm -hmm. just to, to make it different. But that's one of my signature things is... Uh, Long spindles and long spindles. kind of an uneven roof, one side longer than the other. And we have one of your birdhouses, and it mm -hmm. has a lot going on here. Yes, that will be added on later, and uh, it's like a cupola. Now, for building the cupola on top, what do you use? Uh, it would be a, a piece that would go on here and then screwed onto the roof with the flat part, and then I would add this maybe this, and then just a regular doorknob on top for decoration. A doorknob? What would, that looks that's like a... That's a gear. That's a gear. Yeah. I spend a lot of time in the, the scrapyard. When I find it, I really don't know exactly how and where it's mm -hmm. going. It's just mm -hmm. a neat thing that I you know most you can likely find. will be able to <laughs> use in the future. And yeah. I see you have a number of lamps. And those yes. probably unscrew and then you, you use the fittings. This part here, I hook up with, with the wiring and you use it as a regular lamp. <clears throat> so the birdhouses are not uh, only functional, but they're decorative too. Yeah. So you might have one uh, inside your home that you special ordered yes. as a, a yeah. work of art, a yeah. sculpture. Yeah. 
and usually it's kind of the centerpiece in the garden. How did you think up making them this way with so much architecture involved? Well, I knew I would have to be involved with some kind of craft coming to the mountains, uh, and so that intrigued me. And uh, a friend of mine had given me uh, a birdhouse a long time ago that, w that we put up in one of the trees here when we first bought the property. And I said, well, maybe I can take something like that and, and just run with it. Uh, yes, well, you certainly <laughs> have run with it. I've never seen so many odd items incorporated. It's fun to think of new things. I try to come up with different things just mm -hmm. to, to keep it fresh and, mm -hmm. and uh, challenging. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the artist and, in and, you. And it depends on what's around, laying around, what yes. gets to be added on. I find rundown barns that uh, are just laying there deteriorating really mm -hmm. and uh, I'll ask the farmer if I can have some pieces and he, he used to say sure and and I use a, I don't have to have any great great big pieces but mm -hmm. the, the more weathered they are the, yes the it adds the texture the character of mm -hmm. it. yes more yeah. character yeah. Well, I'm, I've really enjoyed talking to you about it. Well, thanks a lot for wow. taking some time out and, and talking to me. Good to see you and Roger again. Wow. It's been a while. So. All right, Ralph. Thanks. Okay. Okay. <laughs>